Okay, small shop update. I got the dyno, uh, of course, charger for the Tesla also. Um, but I got the power supply ripped out. I'm going through adding the new Your Dyno power supply. I got to rewire um, the, the mains voltage after it goes through the filter. I got the uh, power to the brake here. I got brake over temp. Um, and then just some other stuff back here is the main input over here is the strain gauge or the load cell, which is going to go to the new controller. So yeah, just going through, um, getting everything set up and planned out. I got a bunch of control, um, cables that I'm going to, going to redo how all this is. This normally used to bolt up over here and it had a pigtail. I don't want a pigtail. So I'm trying to just find anything I can that goes together. This one would be nice for the mains voltage, but I don't have a back shelf for it. So just got to keep digging through the stash and um, see what I could find and, and then get this thing digital. We'll be testing cars in here pretty soon. Okay, today we are working on rewiring this brake or retarder, whichever you call it, for 192 volts. Right now it is set for 96 volts. That's the way it was from Dyno Dynamics, but switching to the Your Dyno, it's recommended to go to the 192 volt wiring instead. So in order to do that, we'll have to open up this cover here and move two wires from pins one and four to pins two and four. So I'm gonna take the cover off and kind of show you what needs to be done there. So I just finished wiring up the brake going from 96 to 192 volts. Now you might have seen when I took this cover off, I only had these two outer connectors and the two blue wires coming from the brake, they went from um, just this, we'll call this one and four. Now on the opposite side, which I could show you. These wires here also come into what we'll call one and four. Now there's a nut missing there, but I just haven't put completely back together. So I had to add a stud on mine. Now some of them will be fully populated, one, two, three, and four. And then what originally these middle two would have just been studs with no wires going to them. In my case, they happen to leave them out. So what I had to do was, this is just a quarter 20. These are M6s, I couldn't find an, M, an M6 long enough bolt around, so what I did is I added this long quarter 20, and all that's doing is acting as a stud. So this one here, which I put a label on, if you could see that, um, sorry if it's not focusing. This was the top one here. So I took the, the wire off of this stud, moved it down here, what I'm calling the fourth position, and then I took the wire um, that was there and moved it to here. This is the second position. So what that's doing now is the wires are coming in, uh, we'll say we'll say here, comes into the top one, which is connected to the common stud here, goes through that side of the brake, returns back on what we're calling stud four, goes through this side of the brake, and then returns back through here to the power supply. Not sure if that's exactly the best way to explain it, but essentially both sides are now in series and it's gonna be wired for 192 volts as opposed to 96 as it was originally. Well, we're back with another dyno update. I got the pit area all cleaned up, degreased, started laying out some of the connections for the new power supply. So this is the Your Dyno power supply. I'll tell you a little bit of what I got going on here. I have the mains power coming into the filter and then power coming out is going to go to the Your Dyno AC in. Um, sorry if this is shaky. I left the other camera with the Camaro. So today I'm shooting this from my phone. AC in here, AC out here, this goes to the brake. These eyelets are from the old 
dyno dynamic. So I'm going to cut these off and I'll put some of these crimp ferrules like you'll see I did here. But that's that's when I get to there. I'm thinking I'm still going to add a, a box for this, maybe like a Hoffman box. That's why I left the mounts where they are. Um, you can see where I left those there. If I don't find a box um, that's that's decent to put this thing in that it fits, that I, that I feel is going to be adequate, what I'll do is <clears throat> I'll remove these mounts, these rubber mounts that you see, and I'll re-drill them to mount the Your Dino box to the rubber mount just to kind of keep it off, you know, the, the bed there, and kind of reduce some of the vibration. So what I have here at the main connection to the dyno is... I mean, I haven't got this far yet, but um, this is going to be power. Uh, that's going to be the mains coming in. And then this cable, which I've just left for now, is going to be for the control. So this sits over the top of this. And I have my 10-pin connector here. So this 10-pin is going to be 5 pins for the load cell. And then there's 2 for the PWM. And then the other three are for the RPM signal. And then this one here, this three pin is the mains voltage. So that'll go in here too. So I have to mount these, drill the four holes, and then get those done up. Luckily, the way this works is I could pull this up, still slide the cable out of the slot. So I don't have to worry about soldering these things into the back. Yes, it would be nice if I found these with... Um, some some crimp terminals but the solder cups well that's what i found so that's what i'm going to use i did make my power cable so this is the cable that will be from the mains of course this is plugged into the wall so when this is plugged into the wall you just want to make sure you got your gender correct here so that you don't have the male pin sticking out where there's a potential that they could be shorted so when you're going from the wall um, just remember to have your your pins um, you know properly um, arranged so that the the power is always sort of protected going towards the wall this is going to be my signal cable this will plug into um, the other 10 pin connector that's going to go there and then this is actually going to interface back to the dyno cabinet and that's going to be what provides all those same signals back to the Yordano controller, um, which I'm still going to use in a cabinet. I know some people will mount it on the dyno bed or they will put it, you know, nearby. I'm actually going to mount it in the cabinet and I'll use, I'll use that cable there to interface between the two of them. So what you see here is I'm going to add some P clamps and this is my uh, 10 conductor cable. I'm going to P clamp it there to those two studs. It's going to come around and then it goes into this terminal strip here, which I'm using a terminal strip because the stills allow, still will allow me breakouts. So I have the three pin here, which will go to the speed sensor. And then I have the five pin um, and then the, the five pins for the load cell and then the two pin PWM. So if I do need to change those cables or if I have to change the sensors, I'm not dealing with a plug or, you know, cutting wires or Resplicing or anything of the sort. I could just take out the sensor um, and then swap that out very easily. This I'm going to mount to the bed. I just haven't gotten around to that yet. And then the, the two wire PWM, which is going to come, oh, you can't see that, sorry. The, you know, the, the main umbilical, as we'll call it, comes in. I got the two wire PWM signal for the, the brake controller, the power supply. I just have this coiled up right now. Um, that will plug into right here. So Pretty much what you see here is the layout. Got the main main cable coming in, goes to the breakout strip, back to RPM, back to the load cell, and then two are gonna wrap all the way around and go into the side of the box here. So that's the way that is right there. Pretty happy with the way that looks so far. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing all of the P-clamps, cleaning that wiring up a little bit, working on getting the connections over there all sorted out and maybe i'm going to work on the computer a little bit i did pick up a new computer to be using in the cabinet that i will be interfacing with the can adapter as well as the bluetooth adapter and we'll see see kind of how that goes 
So yeah, that's the uh, that's the update for today.